please uh, tell us about MIS CIEC. So uh, th thank you, Rafael. Uh, yes, I would like uh, to highlight uh, MIS and CIEC are two companies focusing on different different needs of clients and different specific uh, uh, data. I'll start with IMIS because uh, IMIS uh, has been founded in Poland. We have almost 20 years of history and uh, we have a very, very uh, good uh, you know, foothold and also very good relationship with uh, a, a lot of uh, clients and also sources and partners in Poland. And what IMIS does is that IMIS as a company specializes in offering uh, uh, company level information. Uh, we have uh, almost half a million uh, companies uh, with the profiles, with the details information on uh, who owns them, where they're, they're located, what how, how they operate in, and also uh, financial information about this company so that uh, people can analyze the, the, the financial situation of those companies. Then we also have in industrial aggregated level of information in terms of uh, industry statistics and industry reports, which are very, very valuable. And we have our in-house analysts who create those reports and can give you insight for a variety of industries in Poland and in other uh, markets. Uh, and also we have uh, information on uh, mergers and acquisitions uh, in, in, in the countries in which we operate in. And IMIS as a company focuses specifically on uh, working and dealing with emerging markets. This is a key, a key di differentiator because on one hand, uh, emerging markets data is very hard to find. So we are specializing in this, in this hard to find data. So this is one of the issues. Some of this data can be in a variety of places or it can be uh, not, not publicly available. And we're uh, trying to solve this issue by offering solutions and, and aggregating this uh, data into one place so that it's easy uh, to find and work with uh, for, for any user. And on the other hand, CIC as a company uh, offers a more macro level data. So there we are gathering and we have a global out coverage. So we're not focused on emerging markets only. We have a very much global coverage and we provide macroeconomic uh, uh, statistics and financial data for more than 180 uh, countries around the globe with uh, sources varying from international sources such as OECD, IMF and World Bank to very specific local sources which we operate and we have uh, um, colleagues on the ground who are close to those sources uh, and, and are working with them closely so that we can gather this, this uh, specific data. Okay, great. As I understand, the users are analysts mainly data analysts, market data analysts, uh, data scientists. What is the main challenge uh, from their perspective in, in, in everyday job? What, what is the main challenge? Yeah, yeah. So we have a variety of users and uh, as I've shared, we, have, we offer a variety of different types of data. So you might be analyzing a specific company or sector. You might be uh, working in a company in which you would like to scrutinize uh, the market, uh, your, your suppliers or, or uh, potential clients, or as you said, data analysts or uh, data scientists who would like to create a model to forecast uh, developments in the market and trends. Uh, what, I've, what we've seen as main, main issues and main uh, uh, challenges of those clients is, first of all, when you're work, working in such an environment, uh, you uh, you are in need of data and you might not really understand where to find it. Or in different situations, you might also be working with a lot of different data providers or sources. And I have had clients and, and partners who are using more than 20, 20 plus uh, different sources. So it is extremely challenging to work with a variety of uh, data types and data coming from different places. So we have clients who are enormous amount of work is being is being put into into uh, mapping this data and creating it into a single single uh, use case so that you can actually work with uh, the different uh, uh, data inputs so one of the challenges is that when you work with a variety of and you have a variety of data needs you come across uh, different uh, different challenges so that data is not available here or data is provided in a different way in another place and here's what we focus on. As a company, we put enormous uh, uh, focus on, on creating one solution and one data type so that we aggregate the data and we provide it into a single format for the client so that we solve this issue for them. 
we, we provide it. We have a, a very nice interface. So uh, we have uh, connections and different ac access types so that you can automate the, the solution as well. But eventually, uh, when you have data needs in a variety of uh, situations, you have exactly what what you're looking for in one place. That's that's one of the one of the issues that we are trying to focus on and solve. And we are constantly upgrading our data coverage because uh, more and more clients, and actually the market is evol evolving. We are uh, now uh, moving into specific uh, ESG data, alternative data, because people are looking into this and has brings uh, more and more value into into the work and giving insight into, let's say, mobility trends or or uh, non-official data which doesn't come from a governmental, let's say, institution, and and. Uh, we are also focusing on delivering such such data types as well so that we can cover the growing demand from from uh, the client base okay so we, we they have a lot of data to work with and uh how automation can help them what, what they can achieve uh with, with it yeah yeah so we uh 10 years ago i, I distinctly remember uh uh, having conversation with clients in which uh, uh, we, we usually the, the the workflow of clients revolved around, around the downloading reports, PDFs, and Excel files, and it turned out that it is uh, it is uh, making life harder when you try to work with the bulk bulks of data. And I'm I'm sure uh, everybody who listens to this podcast uh, to, to to this uh, recording. Uh, you have seen the the ongoing trend of of uh, having data analysts and business an analysts who are uh, automating such processes so that you save time for 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 you. Uh, and uh, even if you are not uh, a developer, if, even if you're not uh, a technical person, more and more I see businesses, small businesses, uh, and medium sized businesses who are putting investment and, and working into automating uh, the, the data intake and automating process so that they can be more effective. And we've seen this trend and in the past 10 years it has been growing and growing, which is why we are, uh, uh, we are putting a lot of effort into creating automation solutions for clients uh, who might be data scientists, who might be having IT, uh, IT infrastructure so that they can uh, ingest the data. So we have created modern API solutions and, and an API for listeners who are not familiar is a, a technology which allows one system to communicate with another system. And you, you have a easy way to tell the system what to do re repetitively. And let's say uh, instead of doing a manual work, you just uh, create a small code which just operates and gets uh, more data to whatever you actually uh, want to want to get. So we are putting focus on on this, we have created API solutions, and we have moved into creating a variety of other uh, connectors and 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 uh, um, SDK, so that we allow uh, users to connect from a variety of places. Because we have seen a growing demand also in the automation, let's say, of reports, uh, building reports, creating charts using uh, softwares like Power BI and Tableau. So we, the 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 the, the needs are growing. Uh, we see. Clients have various needs in in, in terms of uh, what they want to do with the data and how they want to analyze it, and automation solves a great deal of those problems if uh, if if, if uh, the, the users actually and, and the clients are uh, putting effort into creating this. So we we do we do create the solutions using our uh, API technologies, uh, both for EMIS and CAC. Okay, uh, and the, la the last question. Can you tell us a little bit more about specific solutions uh, INIS yeah. and CIEC offers? Yeah, yeah. So what we what we offer, we offer a variety of uh, solutions, starting with in individual users who want to access the data. We are creating an uh, online cloud-based uh, uh, website, which you can log in from anywhere. You log in from home, you, you go somewhere else, you go to work or in shared workspace. You, you have instant access to the data. This is This is a must. Then we have uh, the ability to extract the data uh, in a variety of ways. Uh, of course, we support Excel and PowerPoints. You can automate the PowerPoint presentation, getting updating data with a single click. So these are conventional things. On top of this, we have when we see that the client actually has more and more needs of data and they want to uh, create a, a, a workflow using a lot of data, a lot of Excel files, or a lot of sheets, you have come to a place in which 
you should be actually better off automating this extraction, which is why we have this API solution, the API being the technology to allow, allow you to connect directly to our database. And we have a, a, a variety of, uh, of connectors or, or uh, programming languages that we support so that if you're using Python, let's say this is one of the most uh, commonly used uh, uh, programming languages, both for, let's say, software development, but also for data analysis and data mining, you can connect directly from there. Then we move into the cases in which we are uh, helping our clients, we are creating uh, scripts and we are uh, actually working with them and helping them in the integration of the data if they want to integrate into something else, if they would like to create their own internal tools or internal CRM systems, they can connect and automate this process further and further. And we've come actually to a place in which uh, we have seen that API allowing you to automate the data is not actually the answer to, any, to everything. So sometimes it's it's hard even for the API to uh, to help a client if they want to create to get let's say a million a million companies. We have a, a huge uh, database or a million uh, time series of economic variables. It will take time, and in order for us to save this time for the client, we have created also automated solution on our end, which on top of the API we have. Uh, uh, a service that automatically uh, gets the data and just pushes the file to the client in an FTP in a server. We call it a dump. And then on top of it, we have uh, this feed service. Uh, we call it a feed and it actually captures changes of the data. So if I'm a user and I have my internal CRM system or internal database, and I'd like to get everything about Poland, any new companies, any new industry reports, any new news, because we also have a very big uh, uh, news uh, uh, content, both company-specific, country-specific, or industry-specific uh, variety of news. And if I'm a customer, I would like to say, okay, I would like to get this news and, and push it to clients. I want every client to see all the news for the automotive, automotive industry for this day. So our service gathers this and pushes it, let's say, every hour or every day, depending on, on the on the needs of the client. And this actually also saves even more time for the client because they don't need to create a script or automate this on there and they just they just ingest the data. So this is an additional feature that we are we are offering as well. And we have seen very good feedback and very growing demand of this because it really makes life easier for for our clients. Okay, Dalian. Uh, thank you very much for our talk. I hope we will see uh, Again, uh, I really do, and thank you, thank you for your, your time. Uh, thank I'll, you very I'll, much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, and have a great day.